<laughs> Hello, Kenton. How you doing, Fred? Fine. So, Hello, everybody. Good to be with you. Um, I'm here with my friend, uh, Kent DeKirby, who is uh, also a student of mine. And um, he, Kenton will end up being a teacher in probably not all that long. We'll see. Might, might be, <laughs> might, might not be. We'll see what happens. That's right. He is certainly, um, he is certainly uh, qualified to do so. Um, Kenton actually, and I'm going to let him tell you his story, but I'll just give you a, a touch base with you on what happened between us, which is that uh, sometime past this, this summer, I got uh, an email from a guy who said, you know, that he had been with a teacher for 10 years and that, um, and that you know, that it was a great teacher and they didn't have a breakup of, or anything like that, but that a couple of years ago, he just, he left that teaching and, and just kind of been on his own. And then he had been drawn to me or this method or whatever and that he wanted to see if, if I would be his teacher. And, um, and I welcomed him aboard, and we had a meeting, and I was really, really pleased to find out I already had an awake student, and um, that what he was coming for, to me for really was to just uh, to polish the tip of the spear. And so that's what we've been doing ever since. He's been making... Um, tremendous amount of progress, doing great. He's caught the eye of everybody else that goes to Satsang with us. And, um, so we're now, now you'll find out about him. So Kenton, yeah. the, uh, first, why don't you tell me something, just give me a, a, a little bit of background or give them a little background. Why don't you tell me starting out at, um, well, let's, let's start out with you as a seeker. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. Tell me yeah. a little bit about that, and then we'll go into your awakening and all that. So, you know, I, I think um, looking really far back, this is probably something I had a predilection for really young, you know. Um, I think that's fairly common. Uh, but I, I didn't have tremendously much interest um, uh, for, for a while until my early 20s. My mother-in-law... Um, brought me to, uh, uh, you know, satsa, like an all-day satsang event um, by um, a teacher that Aja asked to speak, that Aja Shanti asked to speak. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I was having a good time, and it was fun, and, um, and uh, you know, I was really enjoying just sort of sitting there and being quiet. And then all of a sudden, I was filled with this sort of inexplicable terror. Um, and it, the, the thoughts that were going through my mind were essentially um, that I had no control over what this body was, was going to do. Um, it could do and any, anything. Um, and so I was, you know, running through all the horrible things that I was, you know, terrified it would do. But it, essentially it was a deep fear of, of a loss of control. Yeah. Um, or or no control, or the presence of no control. <laughs> right, right. The, the loss of the sense of control. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Um, you know, it's funny how this stuff is sort of there from the beginning um, when you look back, right? Um, and so uh, this got me quite interested. Um, and I went looking for a teacher. Um, and found um, another teacher that Aja asked to speak and I, you know, read some of his material and I just knew, it, you know, it just, it just spoke to me. Um, and so I just showed up to an event and, you know, that, that knowing that this was the person for me was immediately confirmed. Um, and I, um, I, you know, benefited enormously from you know a pretty close relationship um, with this teacher for a really long time, which is you know not all that common. Um, you know a lot of people were more well known, obviously aren't accessible. Um, so um, you know, it's, just st step in and say real quickly please. that we're not talking about his teacher's name and everything simply because we don't we don't we, we didn't clear it, and so we're, we're not trying to avoid it for any reason. Right. That. That's right. That's right. That's right. I've read his. Uh, I've, I've read at least one of his books. He maybe has more than one, but I've read his book, and um, and I, I was sold when I read it. Scott yeah. Hillary read his book, and he was sold when he read it too. Absolutely. About this guy. So yeah, 
Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, you, you know, he's deeply authentic and uh, extremely skillful um, in a lot of sort of different aspects of the teaching. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm just eternally grateful. Um, and so, you know, throughout a fairly long period of time, um, well, I, I guess you know, I'll say what I immediately experienced, you know, in his presence. Essentially, the moment I met him, I became aware of this you know, this unified field of spacious openness. Um, you know, that was there from the, you know, the, the first time I sat with him. And that was very eye-opening. It was, what is this? And, um, and, you know, unsurprisingly, I assimilated that to an experience that Kenton was having. Right? That's true. So I was, you know, the, I, Kenton was having this experience of spacious openness. Yes. And it was present sometimes and not other times. And so, you know, this obviously feels amazing, you know, feels really good. And that'll, that'll get the, um, the seeking mechanism up and running. Yes. Um, Cause there's, you know, there's a carrot to chase after. You bet. And I, and I noticed that this, sort of unified field had no self nature. There was no self in it. Um, you know, I noticed that, it, you know, had no boundaries. Um, I noticed that, you know, it had no form to it, you know, I, and, um, and I immediately, I, I could identify with all the descriptions of it that I came across. And, and yet it, it felt very clearly like an experience that Kenton was having. Um, and so, you know, I continue to, this, this, you know, this, this openness um, would fairly regularly rise to the forefront um, over, you know, over the years. Um, but I was, you know, there was definitely a lot of seeking after that um, and a tremendous amount of suffering, um, you know, both sort of related to that, that seeking and, you know, and just in general. Um, Once you know, and in a whiteness, boy, it is. It makes the dream. The dream can be rather painful. Isn't that the truth? Yeah, isn't that the truth? Um, yeah, and you know, without going into the details, you know, my um, mind was was not a, a friendly place to be. Yeah. Um. And uh, you know, looking back, the 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 absence of of those thought patterns is, uh, you know, I don't even notice his absence anymore. Uh, but, um, you know, certainly different. Um, and, and then recently, fairly, fairly recently, there seemed to be a, um, you know, a shift in how that openness, how that beingness was experienced. And, um, you know, without kind of getting into cause and effect stories, um, you know, some very challenging circumstances arose, you know, in my life. And um, rather than, you know, sort of pursue the, this, um, you know, the, this, this. I have this, a dog fight down here every day. That? That's what I have to do. Get this dog fight calmed down before they come up with the video. I'm sorry, Kent, but I wanted to explain. Wow! <laughs> totally. <laughs> why? Why you were getting very close? Well, to the... uh, who cares? About... <laughs> Listen, to Kenton. I mean, let me uh, tie my shoes or do what? <laughs> hey, it's all it's all the same. Yeah. Um. And uh, and so you know, I, I became very curious about the root of the suffering that I was experiencing, and and there was this shift from seeking after something to getting very curious about about the root of of this suffering. Um, and the discovery, you know, which was iterative, it happened, you know, many, many, many times and it continues, you know, this discovery continues, of course, you know, it's new every time was that, um, the discovery was that the, the sort of the deep rest and peace that I was seeking was already there. Yeah. Um, but there was this you know, noise in the foreground, you know, the noise of, you know, whether it's you know, identification with thought, 
more identification with the body. That's it. But, yeah. but, well, and, 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 that's, and that's identifying with the thought. <laughs> exactly. That's right. That's right. Exactly. Yes. That, thank you. Yeah. That's a, yeah. Um, and, um, and the, you know, the, the self-inquiry, you know, traditional sort of um, pedantic self-inquiry, you know, I've always been aware of it, you know, Ramanus, who am I, but it just didn't have any juice yeah. until it did. Yeah. Until it did, and then it had a lot of juice. Yeah. And um, that, that seems to be the shift, and that's where seeking falls away. So how long ago this was what you've been, you, you were with your teacher 10 years and then you were two years on your own. That's about right. Yeah. So I, I, I've, I've certainly attracted more people now. I mean, as I've been doing this a little while, certainly attracted more people uh, as students who are already awake, but I'm always bowled over when it happens because, you know, I didn't have the humility to call a teacher for several years. And just because, you know, but I think the, the chief thing there was I'm so afraid that he was going to tell me that I wasn't away. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely right. Totally. Hey. In my little world, in my living room, I was away. <laughs> right. right. Absolutely. So, and the, the other thing was, I mean, I just already knew everything except for that I didn't. Right. right. So it, it, and it really came to be that what happened was that attention accidentally paid more attention to attention. <laughs> what I saw was that I was in a circular motion mm -hmm. that I would have these, ah, and then I would have the, uh, 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 and that and every time I would have the, ah, uh, as you said, it's new every time. And every time I would have that, ah, uh, I'd think, yeah, now I really got this thing. And then it would, and then it would, I'd have at least the, the sense that I'd left it. I'd lost it. Right. I had it, you know, now I've lost it. Right. The, but I, and at three and a half years um, of awakeness, I finally, and my humility came the only way I've ever found humility, uh, which I don't still don't know much about, which, <laughs> you know, which is uh, through suffering. Yeah. That I just simply suffered enough, and I just didn't want to suffer anymore, and I could see that I wasn't actually making any further progress. Right. Yes, I was awake, and there's no, no question about it. But I, was, but I wasn't really clear. I wasn't stable. And that stability is a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. So, and because once we've woken up, that, that's, and we were taught, I think. I know that I gleaned from the teachings that waking up was graduation. <laughs> right. And what I've discovered is that waking up initially that's the ticket to the dance that's right that's right yeah. but not to be confused with the dance yeah and, and i um you know I, there's been no real dramatic awakening experiences which in some ways makes the whole thing a lot smoother yes. um you know there's there was certainly you know certainly seeking and all that um but there wasn't um the, the dramatic um you know habit lost it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um so the interesting thing is I know one of the um, one of the best known non-dual teachers in the world and he told me that he never had an event either never is that, right? that I could just see it in reverse mm -hmm. and said it was just it wasn't there and then uh, and then one day I noticed that it that it was there and then it had been there for quite some time. <laughs> <laughs> so so, yeah. um, so and this is a great thing to point out because there are people out there who are waiting for that big event and that's, and they ain't waking up until they get one, which guess what? It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Exactly. You know, I'm not waking up until I get one. Well, you're not going to get one until you be, yeah. are willing to surrender to whatever this moment is, whatever this arising is bringing. And if that's a really big time spiritual experience with bliss and all great. Yeah. But I've had um, one of the most awake people I know, I mean, it just uh, is a guy that lives in the mountains of Switzerland. He's a, like does some underpinning of the of the of the internet itself, and uh, um, so he can live anywhere as long as he can get um, you know. It's all fancy. I mean, 
Yeah, so it lives, <laughs> and it lives in a far fort, a, a farmhouse from the 1400s, or it's 400 years old. I forget. Wow. I guess it's 400 years old. Wow. So but anyway, so this is a guy. And this guy had been a deep meditator for 30 years, and um, transcendental, and but he knew. He just, but he still didn't know who he was. He just didn't get it. And he said, you know, well, I'm at such a place that I think I'll even, uh, I think I'll even talk to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to this Charlotte. And so, and he called me and we did an awakening session. And during it, when, when the truth hit him and it kind of, and he did like, but it wasn't a big thing. It just hit him. And it was a little bit of a thing like that. And then he looked at me and he went, you're kidding. <laughs> you mean this? <laughs> right. Yes. Right. 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 Yeah. And that, and so the big time events do happen. Mm -hmm. um, sadly enough, I had one, so I have to report it. I'm very sorry uh, to hear that. Yeah. yeah but, it, <laughs> you know, uh, but it got in my way. Yeah. Because I thought that that big, beautiful, blissful experience was what awakening was. I right. thought I was supposed to always be in that la-la land. Right. right, where it's just which is a, in short, all I really wanted was you know a lifetime orgasm. Right. Oh yeah. Right. You know? Not yeah. even thinking that the unit can't even function. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah, it'd be terrible. Yeah. <laughs> so the the so tell me what what brought you what brought you to this teaching? What brought you here? Yeah. So you know when. When this apparent shift was underway, um, where there was a sort of a shift in orientation from looking for a different experience to um, noticing the nature of, of experience, mm -hmm. and that it simply wasn't what I had thought it was, um, that um, the, the seeing that you know, the recognition that seeing is seeing, that hearing is hearing. Um, uh, you know, when that was dawning, um, which, you know, was, you know, there wasn't, again, it wasn't like, you know, some, some big moment, but um, I, I, I don't know how, but I found one of your videos and within five minutes I'd written you an email. Yeah. And, you know, it was a similar experience that I had before, which is, yes. There's the guy. There's the guy who's speaking. Yeah to what's being recognized That's right. That's and right. you know the you know there is there's there's definitely a, a devotional current yeah. you know that, that that happens you know when um, when you know beingness is recognizing itself mm -hmm. and you know that you know, the, the sort of the, the movement towards a fuller and fuller embodiment, a fuller and fuller recognition of that is just, you know, just moved, you know, and it just moved in that direction. Yeah, that's perfect. So th th just as you mentioned it, so just, I just want to touch on this. I don't want to get into it, but it is that most people or an awful lot of people in non-dual circles look at this thing almost clinically. And right. right? Yes. Uh, but in fact, you, if you, if you're really if you're if you're working with somebody, and um, and they're really freeing you, there's probably gonna be some bhakti. Yeah, yeah it just happens. I, I, I have um, I, I have photographs of teachers around this room that have, that most of them dead, but not, um, but not all of them. Eckhart, Aja, Byron, Katie. Um, the, these people meant a tremendous amount to me yeah. and, or mean a tremendous amount to me. And, and I very, very definitely have a bhakti pull. So in the end, the, the bhakti yoga has its own, uh, its own blending of yana yoga into it. Yes, it does. And yana yoga has its own blend of, right. right? It's really yeah. it's all three because the karma yoga comes in as well. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you for saying that. I've been noticing that as well. There's this pull to service and, you know, we can, we can sort of try to artificially bracket these things off, mm -hmm. 
but that's just that just doesn't seem to be the nature of it. You know, it's it's a, it's expressed through these these different kind of currents. You know, these you know sort of non separate currents, right. um, and it just that just that just it's just how it works. It seems if there's a the, this depending because it's dependent upon the the experience er. Yes. The, the, the what's the the unit that this is coming through. This unit was just simply appalled at the idea of Bhakti. <laughs> right. Except for the fact, right. But, you know, just the whole notion of that was just, oh, that yeah. sounds too much like Christians to me. Uh, Nothing mm -hmm. wrong with Christianity. He, but, it, but I was born and, and raised in a Baptist church, and it was love Jesus and all this, and I didn't right. get it, and I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. So when I came to this, I just was, I didn't like that idea at all. Karma yoga didn't appear to appeal to me because I was only in it, in it for me. You know, I, you know, I have to, I have to say, I have sort of been, a, you know, a similar orientation. I think my conditioning um, sort of interprets karma yoga as like, you know, I, uh, I'm obligated, you know, or I, I'm not doing something right if I'm not sort of serving others or something like that. Um, but, you know, I, and, and that, that's just conditioning, but I noticed that that movement towards service seems to just be intrinsic. Yeah. Right. To, to that. So something's waking up. Exactly. And see the, and, and, and something that, that same thing's woken up here, but didn't wake up overnight because I didn't even, I mean, I didn't really even care about waking up. I just wanted you to think I was awake. Right. Maybe that's where I get the girls in the morning. <laughs> right. It's an awesome social currency. And you see, awakeness really doesn't care about all that. I mean, intention, <laughs> no. intention is a very good thing. And it, but it's really, it, but uh, awakeness doesn't care what your attentions are, intentions are, because there's no you there. Yeah. So it's just really just using a husk, and, and nature has no pride. And, you know, a, 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 a beautiful flower just as soon grow out of an old dirty tin can like this, rusty tin can like this, as in an English garden or through a young guy like you. It doesn't yeah. care. Yeah, it's, it's just its vehicles are its vehicles. That's it. But it's about the flower. It's not about the can or the English garden. It's not about, it's not about, the, it's about the flower itself. And that's the way this teaching comes. And, it, you know, it's really interesting. Um, you know, I, I can, I have sort of memories of my mindset, um, you know, years ago, you know, when, when teachers would say something like, you know, the enlightened master is like being a pedestrian, you know, it's, it's a role that's showing up, you know, in other words, there isn't some nugget there that has a certain amount of awakeness, right? That's quantifiable, right? Um, cause that would be the person. Yeah, that would be the separate self. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure that that's true. But really, how awake are they? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, and it's not personal, and all these kinds of teachings. But when you really see it, it's yeah. like, oh, that's, a, oh, oh, re oh, really? I see. I I, see. That's what it looks like. They weren't lying. Yeah. It's right. really, right. Right. Yeah. And, and it, this thing has to be experienced yourself. Yeah. Um, I want to make it really, really clear that I wasn't born a non-dual teacher. I was born a rascal and a, and a creep. And I was a rascal and a creep until I was about 54. You know, I got better when I got sober when I was in my late 40s. But it was um, so that I was six years sober when, I, when awakening occurred. But uh, it's... It just it, it, it there's nothing special. There's truly nothing because there's not even in the 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 most in the truest view from the truest view. There is no teacher here. There's a teaching and no, and the same thing over there. There's no teacher there, but yeah. there's a teaching there that's right. going to come out. Exactly. It's come out and and it's but you're an average guy who went through your average suffering and your average American childhood. Yep. And I went through my average American childhood and not, not in, and, and it's so what I'm trying to do is tell the people who are watching this, that this is not a fantasy. This is available and it's available to you. Now you, yeah. you're going to get it later. Yeah. Like one of the things, Kenton, if you don't mind, 
Please. Uh, I just got off of a, uh, out of a conversation with a woman in England who I'm also going to have one of these conversations with, Julie, and um, who's, who's quite awake. She just came back from a Adyashanti week-long uh, retreat. And, um, the, and so she's all juiced up, <laughs> but and what she's noticed, what she's, what the, the insight she's getting right now is she sees what I talked about for so long is that now as she's gotten more involved with this thing, not just reading a book and it's in my head or maybe and not even just watching a video and it's still in my head. But and I'm in my head alone. But when you get out, you get start getting involved. Then that's when things really change fast for you. Yeah. You know, I have a, there's a, the guy in Sweden that I talked to yesterday, and he's only been awake a couple of months, but he's doing great. But he told me he said, "Look, Fred," he said, "You know, th this is like my hobby and it's my everything. I mean, yeah. he said, only thing I this is the only thing I really do." Yeah. And I said, "You know," he said, "I put a tremendous amount of time and attention into it." I said, yeah. that's why you're making progress. Boy, isn't, yeah, isn't that, um, yeah, isn't that, that, that really does seem to be true. I mean, the, you know, this is beyond, beyond important. I mean, to say it's important, you know, is, is, is silly. It's just. Julie um, told me today, she said, you know, I can't understand. And of course we, we can and we can't, but it, it is, but it does boggle the mind that everybody's not doing it. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. You know, because it, it, the, you know, the experience is not that it, it is meaningful or meaningless. It's, it's meaning itself. Yeah. You know, it's like the, this, um, this, this awakeness, um, it, it, it just, it's meaning itself. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so going back to you for just a minute and I, and I, I, I I'm not looking I'm not, this is not, there's nothing about this that's promotion other than the fact that it's going to be on YouTube. Yeah. I just, but I want to just find out best that can, but just as a general way, once you, once you started working with me, was there again a difference? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, as, as you know, I haven't left you alone since that first email. Right. Um. <laughs> Great. Cause I mean, yeah. we've become, and what, this is what happens folks is that eventually you just become friends. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, exactly. It, my, uh, it my quote students are really yeah. just my friends. Yeah. I'm just a con man that's figured out how to get them to pay to keep me away. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. right. Friends on the internet. Right. <laughs> that's right. And, and, yeah. I mean, I can really see how, you know, I mean, I've heard you say this over and over in that the supporting, the supporting, you know, apparent others in recognizing, um, you know, recognizing what, what's looking out their eyes um, is just a powerful means of, of amplifying, you know, or deepening the recognition of clarity here. I mean, it really, like, it really does seem to work. And I mean, I wrote that piece from your website and, and it, and it you know, I, I noticed that the same thing kind of happens where it's almost like I'll be teaching myself in a way. I mean, we're, I'll, I'll just be walking down the street and words will be coming out and the energy behind it will just sort of, it's like awakeness is sort of in dialogue with itself. Yeah. Um, that's exactly what it is. That's yeah, exactly yeah, that's literally what it is. Literally what it is. Yeah. It's just there happens to be no other bodies around. Right, exactly. So it's using these because it's, it, awakeness is having an, an objective experience of something that's purely subjective. Yes, right. It is, and so it's, it's using these bodies because those are the rules, and right? Yeah, that's right, and I, lo I love that. Um, I mean, you know, I, I won't get started on the number of, of, of lines of, of yours that, um, that I'm, I'm quite enamored with, but, you know, um, um, being as, as subjectivity, as pure subjectivity, yeah. that, that's still, yeah. that, that just still does, does it for me. And, it, you know, it's amazing how objects you know material you know the you know the, the world of objects yep um i think that that's where we think that's what we think is important right and this damn pesky space that's in in between right. you and my a valuable object yeah and and the you know i'm noticing that the perception of of objects is also shifting um they're not so objective as they once. Right, no, they no, once not were. quite so solid, are they? Not quite. No, not quite so solid. No, That's not not at all. Exactly. Is that it, it, it's and 
you know, you're there can just so everybody knows there's there's not necessarily a visual component to this thing, but there can be a visual yeah. component. Um, so yeah, that's, this is part of what we're talking about because but the the key thing to recognize is that these experiences that Kent and I are throwing back and forth, the experiences of themselves really don't add up to a to, to, to amount to anything. That's right. What matters is the, is the download, and yeah. however the download comes, wh- whether it comes quickly or it comes, you know, or, or or it comes in swiftly, or it, you know, very few people will just bang awake. Or, I mean, just really clear. They'll bang yeah. awake, but not clear. Eckhart spent years in the park. Aja talks about his his time in between the first awakening and then the larger awakening a few years later. Um, and Byron Katie went to the desert to try to clear up that unit and discovered she'd taken all the world with her and that yeah. she was at war yeah. there by herself. Yeah. So it's understanding that, that the predominantly this thing is incremental. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. There's, you know, the, the re- there's a sort of the, the rec- recognition of timelessness, right? Yes. And the, 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 the flowering of this or the unfolding of it, you know, the, the sort of the deepening recognition um, of it, the, you know, the, you know, I, I remember sort of putting, putting barriers around presence, you know, it was, it didn't include me. It didn't right. include, you That's know, right. certain things. One that starts right on the other side of my skin. You got, you got it. And, you know, the, the, the more, you know, those, those apparent, that sense of a barrier to awakeness is investigated, the more it's recognized. It's still, it's, you know, it was still recognized. Yes. It's, but the, the, the sort of the, the clarity of that recognition, yeah. you know, it's sort of. And the, the thing that comes with, with, with clarity as clarity increases and this starts out from the first pop of awakening, but then it continues, is is that we begin to really grasp, not that we can ever get it, yeah. but we begin to grasp the ramification. Yes, yes. Wow. You know, um, Julie said again that she was talking about the fact that she said just the word oneness. She just been looking at that word, and uh, you know, the math of one, one mm-hmm. equals one, doesn't it? So, so so I, I was always, and I'm sure you were the same, because every client I ever had was, mm-hmm. the, um, is that when in the, in the seeking, I was looking for the oneness. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I was expecting to have an experience with oneness, and maybe I could merge with oneness exactly. or whatever, and then have some kind of that, that sort of merging beautiful experience and all that. And I was really, it was mostly about experience. Yep. And it's... It's 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 just it's just not like that. Yeah. No. Yeah. Absolutely. You, you look you look for the oneness object, and, mm-hmm. and that's why the the seeking is the not finding. That's right. You're trying to solve a, an impossible, not only an impossible problem but an imaginary problem. That's right. And when I always heard the the just going through a few pointers, but the, when I when I always heard you know that the um, well, I've forgotten what it was. I, I was going <laughs> <laughs> to. Yeah, that's the trouble with me. That comes and goes. Well, it's, it's not just my age either. I just, I don't, I don't have a, you know, I lose. If if I'm talking in public, you know, yeah. where I'm, I'm under the gun, it's been a long time since I had a public talk. But the, but, but the last time I did, um, I mean, I, 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 I forgot what I was saying like four or five times, and I would have to ask the audience, what is going on? Because I'm not. Fred is not doing this. And what yeah. happens is there's a the stream, and then within midstream, Fred pops in. That's right. And he thinks he's got an idea that we should talk right. about. Where, right. Where were we? <laughs> yeah, right. right. Where <laughs> were we? I want to pick up on that thread. <laughs> right. <It's> like, <laughs> it, but the fact is, is that, yeah, Fred's got plenty of opinions, but none of them are going to help us. Right? Because none of them are right. It's so easy. I, maybe this is picking up on on something we were talking about before, but you know, it's it's when you're you're when the mind is kind of living in the world of objects. It's so easy to um, you know, if you hear about experiences that people are having, um, you know, get into the whole you know, well, I haven't had that. That must be an X, Y, and Z. And you know, as we were saying before, I mean, it 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 just it shows up in 
you know, an infinite variety of ways, you yeah. know, based on the sort of the configuration of the individual body mind. It's, and it's not only and it's not only the, the individual body mind, it's also the conditioning that surrounds the two. It's exactly that's a good yes. Uh, I mean this thing will show up as it needs to to it w will show up the way it needs to to be seen. By yeah. Yes. Right? Yes. It, it exactly. and, and so this is the reason that sometimes when we you know we got a world full of non dual teachers now and yeah. there, and there's the sense that you know we should all see eye to eye on everything. Right. And we don't. We, no, we, we I think we would all agree on the fundamentals. Mm -hmm. I don't think there'd be much in the way of argument there. But how this thing is seen is can be very different between um, this unit and that unit. Even exactly. So, yeah. We have exactly. we got a, we're a lot of like so, but the, but but nonetheless, there are going to be things that you're going to see. We don't have to agree on everything. Right. If I don't agree with it, with everything that a teacher says, it doesn't mean the teacher's a fraud. It doesn't mean the teacher's not awake. Yeah. It doesn't mean that I'm a fraud or I'm not awake. What yeah. it means is that's the way he sees it, and he needs to see or she sees it. She needs to see it that way yeah. because she's got to be going to be presenting it to people who have to have it shown that way. Yeah, and we, we get in we get in trouble when we think there's something wrong if we're not seeing it another way, or we think that you know we make conclusions about others based on you know yes. others. That's right. That's right. Same you know same light just reflect refracted refracted through different jewels. You know? That's right. Exactly. Because and and the the fact is that like um, when I when I look at when I look at different teachers, I mean that teaching has to be. Yeah. Right? If we need that teaching. How do yeah. we know? We've got yeah. it. Yeah. And we need that teaching by that person doing it that way. Because yeah. that's what that group is gonna hear. It's yeah. is you know the, the, the yin yang, which is that this teaching it's it's or two ends of the same stick would be another way to put it, but this teaching cannot exist unless there are people ready for it. Right. Yeah. It can't, right. Be, can't be people ready for it. And it not exist. Exactly. And that's not just the case here in this special place. That's going to be the case in your teaching. It's the case in um, uh, in, in in Ajas and this is and that ones. Yeah. Right? Many many. Yeah. Um, it's it, it's the teaching is perfect for those that it speaks to. That's exactly right. Yeah. It's ideal, and yeah. it's just, and they and they and 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 very often they know this is home. But, yes. You know, and there's a very good track record here in terms of being able to bring people to an initial awakening. Right. But sometimes I, I meet with people who that I that I, I am not able to wake up, and it's and there's and and what I, and then they were crushed, and of course I'm disappointed for them because I'm just foolish enough to 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 want them to to get it if I'm right. right? I wanted to get what they wanted, but they want to get what they want sooner or later. Yep. But it's the recognition that there's nothing personal in this. No. They didn't fail. Right. Nor did I. No. We had a very successful awakening session. You just didn't wake up. <laughs> right. That's right. That's right. It'd be what you've been, the reason this is so valuable is you found out this ain't your teaching. Yep. And it's the, and it's that thing. We can hear who we can hear and we can hear who we can hear as long as we can hear them. Yes. And uh, yeah. There, yeah. There's no change whatsoever in that teaching. We go, you know, I just can't hear this anymore. And, uh, yeah, I love him. I'm grateful for him. Da, 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 but I just can't hear. I just can't hear it. And yeah. it's so. Well, let me put on push on to one thing here. Yeah. Which is when we're looking at when we're looking at teachers and we're looking for teachers when we're looking for our teaching because the the the. the the, what we have now is we have a sample heavy non-dual scene, yep. which is, oh, I talked to this one and I talked to that one and I read this book and I read that book and videos and, um, and I'm taking a little bit from this and a little bit from that. And on one level, I understand mm -hmm. that's just, that's the way assimilation happens. Yeah. But a monk once said that, you know, we should read deeply not broadly. Yeah. And you know, I confess I do both. So right. But yeah. the importance thing is to not is to not read broadly in lieu of reading. Yes. Yeah. So when, when you get a when you get a teacher, 
when you get somebody that you can hear, I mean, the, the go deep. Yeah. When, when you want to, if you want to strike water, you don't go around and big dig many many shallow holes. Yeah. That's what everybody. Well, not everybody. That's what many. That's what I was doing. Keep yeah. it deep. That's yeah. what I was doing in non-duality, but was was that I would go from here and here and here. Well, actually, they did that with Zen and, and everything else. Mm -hmm. But when I really began to go deep, in other words, and in my case, deep meant overboard, which is to an unhealthy level. <laughs> yeah. But, um, you know, that's just the way this unit functions. Same. But it was to read everything that yeah. they wrote. It was yeah. to listen to everything that they said, I, I had a student this morning tell me when he first, and he's been with me several years now. And he said, when I first started out, he said, I went and listened to every video that you had. He said, just, just, I, I just had to, I had to get it. Mm -hmm. and he's also someone I'll have in one of these conversations with. His name is Chris. And, um, he's a, he's a Zen guy that, but he's recognizing that this is true Zen. Yeah. So, right. Yes. So, yeah, can, can I just riff on that a little bit? Yes, please. Um, but yeah, they, um, you know, reading reading widely, the benefits are, um, you know, you the insight is available that this can be expressed in different ways, and you know, you you, you get a sense for what the core, the common core is, and you know what sort of the periphery is, and that that can be very useful. Yes. Um, in the con in, in developing context and developing that sort of broad perspective, right? And um, you know, I find that my uh, my relationship to, to to teachings, to the articulation of the te different articulations of the teaching, yeah, um, is is definitely different now. Which is that I I really enjoy and I'm fascinated by modes of expression and you know of this and yeah. and so different different languagings, different sort of tacks that, you know, people take, but none of that, just to echo what you're saying, none of that is a substitute for, you know, for, for, for depth. Mm. And, you know, it's, it kind of, and this is just sort of um, one of the benefits go, going back to what we're saying of the sort of the bhakti devotional current is that it naturally sort of leads, you know, leads to a, a, a deep relation, you know, a relationship. Deep, deep relationship because there's a, the, because I recognize myself in you. Right. And yes. I love myself because yes. it's a good thing. There's nothing else for me to love. So, yeah. <laughs> right. And yeah. I am love. But so there is that, 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 that is just, it's just a natural part of it. Yeah. And it's, and it's okay. It doesn't mean that, um, you know, that, uh, you know, people need to do things. You don't, you don't even, they don't even, the teacher doesn't even need to know. Right. But at some point, the teacher is going to know if you're really going to go there with that teacher. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah. Go ahead. I was just going to say, you know, it, um, you know, like, like you mentioned earlier, um, there seems to be a tendency in particular, you know, circles to make this clinical you know, to make it sort of very, very heady. And, um, you know, another, another aspect that is, you know, sometimes not, not emphasized, um, is the awakening of the body. Yes. Tell me about that. Well, um, you know, starting a fairly long time ago, um, you know, I, I became aware of, you know, sort of the movement of energy in the body and, you know, sometimes that would show up in subtle ways and other times in quite dramatic. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I, I um, it was on a retreat, a, you know, multi-day silent retreat with, uh, with my first teacher that during a sitting, um, body started moving. Um, and, you know, in, in, involuntarily. And, um, you know, the, the, the spontaneous movement of the body has been, you know, a sort of a, a good friend for, for many years, and, you know, there've been periods where, you know, it's much more intense and, and certainly not the only, not the only thing, yes. um, but, you know, just, just, just one that I, that I might mention. And, you know, I, I'm, I very much feel continually that the body is in a process of opening, yeah. um, you know, deeper and deeper. Just um, one thing going on. Yep. <laughs> yep. That doesn't mean to the exclusion of this body. Exactly. 
one exactly. half of one, one equals one. That's right. Yeah. And and one equals ten thousand, right? Mm -hmm. You know? Um and zero. And zero. Oh, 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 you beat me by like a half a second. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, I just rocked him. Yeah, I know. Great. But, but um, that column. It's so funny. I would, yeah, that's right. That's right. Sorry. All right. Fred one, Kenton zero. Wait. <laughs> or, or is it the reverse? Anyway, yeah. Um, uh, so, 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 so let me show you something. Please. Um, what, you know, that for very long, you know, we, we identify with that voice in our head and we think that's us. Yep. Right? And then, and, but what we notice is actually, it's not us, it's, it's a complainer, right? Mm -hmm. I used to have a, I remember I just laughed about it. I used to have what I, what I, when, the, when I first started developing an inner teacher, I, I used to call it the, the explainer, <laughs> all right? Because it would just come up and I would just see things and it would, it would show me the truth about things. And it, would, it was almost like really almost, it, it wasn't audio hallucination, but it, uh -huh. it wasn't far. Yeah. And yeah. so, and that's the authentic thing. But this thing that's doing this, you know, I used to call it the ostrich. You can see the, <laughs> the ostrich that's going off in our head. So just to make this very clear, and, 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 it's, and it's really been useful this last week that I've had it, I went and got an ostrich. And oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Oh, that's awesome. I think puppets have been what has been missing from non-duality. <laughs> <laughs> so this thing that's talking in your ear is you'll notice that this is a perfect example that it's not you that's right it's an ostrich that's right right it's just a thing over here and the key to this is that this thing gets to say gets to think and say whatever it wants because that's the way it works yeah. but on our end we don't have to believe the ostrich right we can just know. <laughs> I, I can. It goes in the mind. I don't know about you, but I can tell you that crazy thoughts still happen here. Oh yeah. Oh, definitely. But there's no need to act out on them. I just they're seen. There's crazy thought, and it's like, oh god, you're still sick. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's there's crazy thoughts that happen just like I could see anything walking down the street. I mean, it's no different. That's right. Exactly. And because it's and it's just thoughts arise, and they're not harmful until I grab a thought and say that oh that's my thought right or yeah or the word or this one is a, and related to that oh this one is a problem yes this I, need to, a problem. I need to do something about this yes that's right so because we, we we tend to take once we bless the thought with being ours it immediately is showered with two other things which is that it's true and important. That's right. Because I only think important thoughts. I mean, the stuff you think, who okay, cares? Right. That's right. Not the thing. I think that's gospel, mm -hmm. and 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 it's and it's true. I mean, I speak the truth, just like Donald Trump. You know, I speak mm -hmm. the truth. Mm -hmm. Hmm. <laughs> 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 How'd you ever go in there? <laughs> <laughs> so, the um, it's you know. So we can watch, you know, we, they talk about watching the thoughts and because that's actually what you can do is you, if you, if, if when you, when attention starts paying attention to attention, yeah. which is the, which is the, the secret key to this whole thing. If you, everybody who's, who's watching this and thinking, I sure hope I get some, some kind of bit out of it that I can, yeah. there it is. That's the nice attention. Yeah. So, and, and and what was I talking about? I have no idea. Uh, not believing thoughts. Ah, uh, yes. So, so what you can do is you can just notice that, that it just happens yeah. and that, it, that they come and they go. But yeah. if I try to suppress that, I'm not going to think like that anymore. I've taken my attention and I put it on the problem. Yes. I, I'm focusing now. Whatever I put my attention on will expand in my experience. And I'm putting my focus on the problem, guess what's going to expand in my, uh, in my awareness? Yep. The problem. And the problem solver. Yes. You know, I was, I was 
talking to somebody else and said, you know, God, it's just amazing me. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm finding among my students now. I said, you know, there's just a bunch of people that are stable and awake, which, you know, and, and it's just, it's amazing to find. And then we laughed and realized it just can't not be. Yeah. That, right? Yes. That's the way it has to happen. The outside mimicking the in, at least, right? Yes, it's, absolutely. If, if, if there's been progress here, there's going to be progress here. Yes, that's right. There, that's right. so to speak. Yeah. Can't, 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 can't not. Can't yeah. not be two ends of the same stick again. Yeah. So, um, what do you what do you see for yourself? Do you, do you see yourself becoming a teacher? Yeah, it's it's interesting. Um, you know, when I've had a lot of beliefs about what readiness looks like about what one's experience must have to be like in order for one to be qualified, right? And, and I recognize, you know, the, the, those are beliefs. Um, and I notice that they're not operating. Um, and I notice also that this, you know, this deep rest, that, that I am shares. It, it just, that just seems to be part of what it does. It, it shares. Um, and, you know, there's a recognition, you know, I, as I was saying earlier, you know, of the impersonal, you know, nature of the teaching. There's no teacher. There's just, there's just the teaching. Um, and it's not a, it's not a platitude anymore. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's, there's no, um, you know, sage, there's just um, wisdom. There's nobody over there that's going to be a teacher or not. That's right. It's a matter of wait and see. Yeah. In my example, that I remember I went to the only non-dual event that I've ever been to where I wasn't a speaker was when I went to see Ajashanti in um, Asheville. And I was in love with the guy before I got there. But I left terrified because... And in the sense that I had thought I wanted to be a spiritual teacher until I saw him. I mean, I'd listen to him hours and hours and hours, but seeing him in the flesh was different because these were just people that, that came to shuffle through the door with me and they were just firing stuff. And he was just like, bam, 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 bam. Right. And yeah. I was like, Ooh, God almighty. I mean, I couldn't do that to save my life. I guess I'm not very awake after all. Right. And it, it, yeah. to some degree that was true, but that there wasn't great clarity yet. But there was, but and I and I gave up that day when I came was driving home and I thought I don't want to do that. It doesn't look that much fun. And it looks like it's just unbelievable. I don't know how he does that. I could, right. and I do not. So I I'm so and I gave up years of wanting to be a spiritual teacher. And I decided oh, that's it. I'm not going to be a spiritual teacher. I'd rather sell books for a living. That's mm -hmm. what I've been doing for ten years. And I'd rather mm -hmm. continue to do that. And um, within about 30 days, the first guy woke up with me, right? My first, <laughs> my first, my first right. victim began to shine, right? Right, yep. It was just, yep. and, and, right. and it, so I yeah. didn't get to be a teacher until, I just this, you can't make this happen. Right. You can't trick it. Yeah. But honestly, I didn't get to be a teacher until I gave up on the idea. <laughs> right. And I completely gave up on the idea, and people started waking up around me like mushrooms. Right. And I was like, and when the first guy woke up, I went, oh, my God, I can't believe it. I never expected, because I didn't really understand that teachers really woke people up. I mean, my idea was, is that we're just all very encouraging. <laughs> and, yeah. Right? And then, yeah. Like, and, it, and it was, and then there was this pop, 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 and I said, well, you know, obviously there's a teaching arising here. And the... And there was an ego in it. No, we're, yeah, and, and that's and I really I really appreciate that. Um, you know, you you've helped me sort of um, recognize a lot of the, the you know the, the the beliefs and projections that, you know that I that I have around this. Um, and um, if you wait till you're ready, you'll be yeah. yes. Because exactly. This thing because it doesn't come alive. Until it's required. Yeah. Like I much prefer, you know, like when I'm working with students and everything, and I get off on little tangents, which which are good. But yeah. the but I love question and answer. 
because it just it pokes that. See that question yeah. comes in and it's yeah. and totally. the answer spews forth. But I couldn't wait for that to happen. That was the thing. Is I had been, and I had been waiting for that to happen, waiting for that thing to come about so that I could magically become the enlightened guy. And only when I gave up on it, and I gave up on teaching twice. <laughs> the, second time, the second time was after I came. I worked with another woman today in in uh, Boston, and she's like uh, the antithesis of the culture that she was raised in. Mm. She was in her culture. Women are not as important as men. They're not as good as men. They're just sort of ways to get men, <laughs> right? Yeah. And so, and and yeah, <laughs> yeah it's you know, um, I. Oh, so I know what I was yeah. saying. Do it. Oh, and it was that anti-cultural thing, and she was she was complaining about the slings and arrows. But again, it's two ends of the same stick. Yeah. You, I got I got slings and arrows because what I'm doing is different than what, 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 what just about anybody is doing. But and I, and I, and that was not accepted right away, and and that really hurt my feelings because I, at that time yeah. I still needed other teachers' approval, and I needed and I right. And the, and the slings and arrows really hurt me to the bone. And then I read uh, Emerson's pictures up there on the wall, and I read Emerson's Self-Reliance, which I recommend to everybody in this audience. So I, I, I read that, and he told me that, guess what? You're, if, you're gonna, if you're on the cutting edge, you're going to get slings and arrows. Right. You're, they're going to hurl insults. They're gonna try to knock you down. It's just the way of it. it they right. can't not because you're you're right in you're 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 an affront to what they're doing. And right. I'm not really. I'm just doing things a little differently. People, we need all the teachings that we have. The, the, it, it's really interesting. Um, you know, we've talked about this a little bit in the past. Um, you know, the, the sort of the sociology of, of non-dual teaching, you know, sort of the, the approaches that, that are taken, you know, the sort of satsang dominant model where, you know, it's, it's essentially talks, right? People give talks, um, you know, sort of not unlike motivational speakers. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and obviously, the, you know, there's, there's, um, there's, a, there's a place for that because like you said, that it exists. Um, and there's, you know, there's tremendous power in, you know, associating with truth, you know, in a group. Um, but there isn't, a, there often isn't that, that really close mentorship. Um, and, you know, you, someone asks a question and, you know, in a group and the question is meant for that person because, you know, the beliefs and the conditionings are seen. And so that, you know, the, the answer in, um, inter basis with with that um, and it's you know it's a skillful means and then there's a hundred other people in the audience who you know are, God knows what you know they're thinking and believing and whatever and they're going to take you know take that and you know and do and, and, and that always speaking to me uh, right that, that when in truth the guy that's up there feeling those questions he's speaking to the audience as much as he can but he's really talking to the person right in front of him right. as they are at that moment exactly yeah so the, the the so the people that are running the the larger models of of the non duality or larger teachings than i do um it's they're doing great work yeah it's just there's no question i mean they're doing tremendous work i mean i love rupert spire i love ajashanti the um and i still love eckhart Tolle. i'm yeah. not sure what he's doing anymore but but i you know, but, it, but he did much for me i worship byron katie so the these we we can we can recognize that they get to do what they're doing but and at the same time there are people who are going to do what i'm doing as you said yeah. one that second that second level is accessible and the other thing is is that what but what i do specifically that's different from what they do i we have to have those big teachings because i can't i can't do it <laughs> the way that i'm doing this is with this one on one thing i right. wake people up one at a time yeah. and um other than satsang which are they're beautiful yes. the, um but other than that i clear people one yeah. at a time we'll get to 
and it's a, and it's a great model. It, it's what it's what's arrived here. It's right. my model. That's right. not the model. That's right, right. And it's not being advocated as you know an inherently superior. I mean, that's just In any way. Yeah. No, 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 I'm not saying that that wasn't always that that was always the case. Right, right, right. right. Early on, I was like. Gee, I got it. Right, totally. I got everybody crowding up on my website. <laughs> you know, is, but but you know, we we mature. Yeah. So I think we've about gone our, our hour shortly, a little little bit more. But God is great. Uh, you no know, kidding. I mean, we we could do this for. Well, we'll yeah. we'll do another one. Let's that'd be promise, wonderful. Let's promise ourselves that. Yeah, that'd be wonderful. So uh, thank you very very much. And, and thank uh, everybody else for watching. And I love you all. And uh, and I'll, I'll see you later. Thanks, sir. Yes, sir. Bye bye.